What's up guys, so welcome back. This is your boy again, Adam Sling. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another crazy video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. I hope you guys are doing okay. Well guys, uh, we have so much to discuss. We're going to run through some entertainment stuff. We're going to check out Buju, who just finally received his Bentley. And also we're going to check out why possible is calling out Shading Osh Poppy. Then a few other stuff as well, Jim Ike and their destiny etiku well guys uh, let's start with i want to ask this question guys and please try as much as possible to leave your honest answer your opinion in the comment section below so someone said if someone offered to give you 50 million us dollar cash but you can never step your feet in your village again for the rest of your life are you going to betray your village people because of only 50 million us dollars so i'll give you 50 million us dollars tell you never to go to your village again for the rest of your life will you accept that 50 million us dollar will you i think that's even easier what if they told you that 50 million us dollar do not assist your village people do not go to village do not build a single thing in your village. Do not buy anything for your village people. Do not assist anyone from your village. And they're going to give you 50 million US dollars. Will you take it? Please kindly leave your comment below, guys. And uh, let's go over to Buju. You know, a few days ago, we had our Headings Award in Atlanta, United States of America. And uh, Buju won. No, not Buju. Buju Bensi won the next rated award well it was uh, presented with a bentley and guess what yesterday the bentley was officially given to buju you know he saw the bentley though but yesterday it was officially given to, uh, to buju i do not know how he's going to transport that bentley down to lagos because talking about uh, the custom uh, service, the custom payment, the transportation fee, and every other document that requires money, I do not know how he's going to do that. But according to what he said in that show while receiving that award, he pleaded with the Lagos State Governor to please assist him. Maybe like give him a waiver. No, just sign document and be like, okay, this a uh, something, 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 anything you want to write, and uh, this custom payment and everything will be waived. I don't know if uh, the Lagos State government can just decide to do that for Buju or if that agreement is already there. Because we have had other artists receiving their car gift in Nigeria. It's only Buju that have received car gift in United States of America for the first time. So let's see how it's going to transport it down to Nigeria because definitely it would like to transport that car down to Nigeria because in Nigeria you will be able to drive it more freely, you know, boast with it and flex with it. So big congrats to Buju once again. We already know Eddings, not Eddings having issue with Portable. Portable is currently having an issue with Eddings and uh, because of uh, the streets credibility award was given to another artist and not uh, portable but portable have another issue currently going on he said is the best dress in nigeria and he, he even boasted about wearing the best clothes and uh whatever and uh, he even called uh Osh Poppy's name i mean guys five million by my career my dream uh, you know see what are they wear they didn't want Say, how much you wear clothes? Wish me. How much they buy clothes? Then why? You say, wait, you don't see why they wait. Ah, who they wait? I don't know. I wait there. They call there. I go see. Wait there. They wear. You know, see me like ah. Them two there. They they come and say, wait a day. Me, I I will get hundred million. Use ah. Use fifty million. Buy clothes. You don't want. You don't see what they wear. I don't buy all design finish. Who? They maybe they give me a bag there. They don't want. Gucci, I don't wear, <laughs> I don't wear Gucci, pa. Oh my Gucci, I don't wear Gucci, pa. Go check my cover, go check my post. 
Said if you get 100 million naira, use 15 million naira buy clothes. <laughs> well, I don't know how to respond to that because if I respond now, some of you will also say Adam Sling do not like portable. Come on, man, it, it hurts me, it breaks my heart. He really, really breaks my heart because I like portable. That's why I talk about him now. If I do not like portable, I won't be able to think about talking about him. I like him. That's why I talk about him. And not just that, he said, like he said, he said he's the best dressed, like he buy Gucci more. He even mentioned Osh Poppy's name. Come on, man. Osh Poppy, even now, self, I don't think say Osh Poppy. Osh Poppy dressed that year. Oh. Most people dress that year or customize Gucci and all the rest. Well, dress that year, but our Nigeria artists, eh, all those top artists, eh, man, when it comes to spending money on outfits, eh, give their, I will give them kudos for so those top three artists. I don't want to mention their names because I have constantly mentioned their names. Even not those, not just top three, except like top 10 Nigeria artists, male, ah, all those guys, they dress so. They really spend a lot of money on designers. We saw what happened to Kizdane. Kizdane said he wasn't even going to perform. Like he was rumored though. He wasn't going to perform because of outfit. But that was uh, fake though. But I just want to show you the amount of, uh, of care they take when it comes to their design. So when it comes to um, the best dress currently, comparing it to Osh Poppy, all shop you know dress reach them now. Forget. All shop you dress or buy clothes that I bought. Right now, our artists they try. They, they spend money on out on on designers. They are actually trying. Then uh check out this picture. It's between Kanye West and Portable. It's a trendy picture. I see a lot of people making fun of Portable over this uh, outfit. Of course, Kanye West is an American musician, a billionaire. He has his own brand and everything is big. As I then know, when he had those, none of all those things, that that was when this picture was taken. And honestly, Kanye West is a fashion designer. He already has the sense. Then Portable, of course, the outfit is cues, you know look a little bit rough and all the rest but i will give it to portable if they tell me to pick between portable outfit and uh can wear outfit honestly i'm going to pick portable you know why because it's our home it's our home and he because of what's available for him and he can still even look if he can look this good using what is available to him the kind of designers that are available to him i think i'll give it to uh to portable it's trending on Twitter. People are making arguments about the two outfits. But when it comes to design, please. Now, nah, nah, Kanye West, though, let us not forget that. And there's this particular MC who is trying as much as possible to make sure Portable goes hungry. It's called MC Morris. MC Morris was, was the was the comedian that initially slated Portable to perform in, in Canada. But because of the way Portable was acting, he immediately stopped the show, he immediately stopped Portable from performing in Canada and also stopped his planned travel to USA. And now he's saying that he's going to stop Portable's travel to South Africa as well. According to him, he said, no one was taxed to pit until it began to rain. The said that insulted me and called me all sorts of names when I removed the psycho patient from my show in Canada and also stopped his USA tour and now thanking me for saving them international embarrassment. A visionary leader is always seen as wicked, evil, or inconsiderate until the manifestation of what he averted is saying. I'm stopping the South Africa show. It was shortlisted on November 3rd. Until he unlearns and relearns, we won't import nonsense to the world. I'm his international manager with no salary. 
<laughs> it be like so this guy carry a uh, portable matter for her though. So you me, okay, you are a comedian now. You a portable was supposed to come to you, and then uh, something happened. You said portable wasn't coming. Now allow portable to live his life. You said you stop portable show in USA. Portable is shortlisted to perform in South Africa. You are saying you're going to stop the show. You're going to make it your your newfound job to stop portable show in South Africa. It's unfair now. Allow portable to breathe. Allow portable to breathe. Allow portable to live his life. It's unfair. Hmm? Seriously unfair, guys. Leave portable alone, nigga. Guy. Am I allowed to use that word? I'm allowed to use the word though because I'm black. But am I allowed to use it on YouTube? I do not know. Maybe I will check though. They might penalize me though. But that's it for now. And Jim, I came across a post of some fans who want to donate for Kylie Jenner. According to Business Insider, they said people are donating money to Kylie Jenner to help her become the world's youngest female millionaire. <laughs> billionaire, sorry, female billionaire. Oh, God damn it. So, fans now know see what they want to use money to do again. They said, okay, we want to make Kylie Jenner the world's youngest billionaire and let us donate money for her. No be crazy be that. No be the other people know they meet. So according to Jim Mike, he said, please, if anyone knows anyone that has land for sale in another planet, please contact me. I will liquidate everything plus my kidney for it. This is officially the dumbest era of human existence. <laughs> How can he say he, he baffle me? He, he makes me wonder. How can some group of fans just say, okay, you know what? This girl that is so super rich, when she's working, be you her best friend, you won't even get close to her. Her security will push you far away. We will assault you if need be. You are telling me you want to donate money. To make that person a billionaire. Kalijana was already the world youngest billionaire. You also want to make him billions by donating money for him. Do you see a lot of people going hungry on a daily basis in the world? Do you see I see uh, people on the street, I see go to hospital. For example, you see people crying for hospital to pay their hospital bill, different Ill illness. You want to donate to a person who already has so much of a lifetime, so much she cannot even finish. Our grandchildren won't even be one won't be able to finish it. You want to donate for that person? Are you serious? Well, you might want to leave this this planet. Then let's talk about Destiny Tico, then we end the video. Destiny Tico was in the middle of uh, some controversies recently when she posted a video on her page. However, she has however deleted the video though. She has deleted the video. But people were quickly to to people were quick to you know to copy a few of it. She was having a discussion with whatsoever and uh, she accidentally flashy, flashed her uh, white underwear. You know, ladies who wear skirt, hmm, when they sit down, they usually fold their legs. It's advisable for ladies who wear skirt to fold their legs because it just see, the skirt is very, very short and they can see in between. But she, she didn't fold her legs. She just opened her leg while she was filming and her pants flashes and you of course you trust fans now with the kind of nasty comments commenting of uh, cover your legs why are you showing your punani all those kind of stuff you know just try and say that uh, you know there are there are simple mistakes very simple mistakes somebody can just be like you know what this is a simple mistake let me just just live past it so she made an error. 
people do have a wardrobe malfunction. I have gone out before wearing a tall trouser. I never knew it was tall. It's someone that told me, child man, see your boss are your 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 blockers go so show, your boss are one they don't your boss are the show. Someone that told me I was like, ah, really. So there are simple mistakes. Take it easy on Destiny Tico. You know, she's one of all those uh, uh, art actress now that are topping when it comes to spending money buying cars, property and all the rest. And her name has been linked to so many sugar daddy. But she has equally came out to say she's hard working, she's working for her money and she's putting in the work. So I think you guys should believe her. I let her rest. Thank you guys for watching the boy Gadam Sling. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time.